Hello, welcome to this Learn Learn Python tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can load CSV files into Python, but as dictionaries. Uh, this is really, really useful if you don't want to go through an entire list of items in a file, but you just want to query one item. So for instance, you want to find out Anna's age, or you want to see um, if Alicia's favorite color is green, or you want to com uh, compare Bob and Claire's ages to see who is older. So let's get started. Here's my CSV file. If you uh, if you wanted to play along with the video, create yourself a CSV file uh, and save it to the desktop or to a folder and put those items in it. So I'm going to open up Idle and I'm going to use Python 3.6. Doesn't really matter which Python you use. Uh, as long as it's three point something. And once we've done that, let's create ourselves a new file and save that file as people dict because we're going to uh, be querying the people dictionary. So save as and make sure you save that file people dict. Um, that's already got one, so let's delete that because we're going to add that again. People dict dot py. Make sure that you save your Python file to the same directory as what you saved your CSV file. You don't have to, but it makes it much, much simpler. And especially if you're just going along with this video, it's a good idea to keep it as simple as possible so that there's less to go wrong. So we've now created an empty Python file in the same uh, folder as the people dictionary. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is we need to import the CSV module. That's because that's the module that contains the reader that's going to load all the file. Then what we do is we open the file, just using an F equals open, and the name file, the name of the file, which is namesages.csv, and we're going to open that file in read mode. So we'll put an R at the end of there. Then what we do is we create ourselves a reader with the name of the file. And then what we do once we've done that is we create an empty dictionary. Let's call that people from which when we start going through our reader and we start reading every single row into Python, it's going to put them into this people dictionary. So we created ourselves an empty dictionary. And now all we need to do is go through each row in the reader and we add people to the dictionary so people uh, that's the name of the dictionary and um, people well what we're going to do well the key for each item in our dictionary is going to be the name so and that's item zero in this so that's item zero one two zero one two zero one two etc so item zero is where the name is and that's going to be the key so people row bracket zero which will go and get bob that's the key for that dictionary and the value is actually going to be in my instance here is going to be another little dictionary inside that dictionary of the age and the favorite color so what we do now we do age colon and that's column number zero one column one so row brackets one get column one from the row and then the color we'll do american style is row two so that should now hopefully work let's see how that goes let's see what errors we've got there names up oh, excellent that's okay nice simple problem i've just spelt that wrong let's save that Ah, brilliant, no errors. So now if we go into Python here, let's just check and type people. There we go, we've got this lovely dictionary that's uh, gonna work really, really well. What have I done there? Oh, oh no, I've made a mistake. <laughs> I've got color two, 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 two. Oops, that's because I need to do row brackets two. Never mind. Save that, run that again. Slight boo boo there. Let's try that again. Hopefully, now. There you go. Brilliant. So it's worked now. So, in the main outer dictionary, we can access each inner dictionary by the name of the person 
And then in the inner dictionary, for each attribute about that person, we can access them via the name of the attribute. So it makes it really, really powerful. So what I can say here is, okay, go to the people dictionary, get me Bob. And I want to know Bob's um, favorite color. There you go. Simple as that. So you could do these really powerful queries, uh, the name of the person and the name of the attribute you want to get to, but it, it's, so, it's really, really powerful, but also really, really easy to read. So let me show you that as an example within your program. If we just said name, who do you want to find? And there we go. Input uh, and then choice. Input. Do you want to their age or color? Favorite color. Brackets age slash color. And what you could do now is you can say print people square brackets name. So that's going to take whatever name and put them in there. So it's going to find the key associated with that. Brackets choice. There we go. Oh, people. That's probably not entirely right. People. So here, if we now run it, okay. Uh, who do you want to find? Let's find Bob and let's find his color. There you go. So there the program here interrogates it and it finds out, uh, asks them who it is they want to find and then what attribute you want to look for, color, and it will do that. This sort of setup here is really useful if you're doing some adventure games or a dungeon crawler or some kind of RPG where you're going to have lots of stats about people. It means you could do quite complicated things, uh, store all your data in CSV files, but your Python program is really readable. Obviously, you might come up with errors where you can't find the person, so you might have to do something a little bit uh, more complicated. So you can say, okay, if name in people, there you go, uh, do that. else print person not found there you go so what it'll do here is it asks for the person's name if they're in that people dictionary then it will uh, go find that attribute and if um, it will otherwise it'll print person not found you could also do another sub one here where you can say okay if the choice in um, if choice in people brackets name then print that choice otherwise print ch uh, invalid choice or something like that and you can add more things in there to your, uh, at your leisure but there it is that is how you load a dictionary into a uh, sorry a csv file into a python dictionary thank you very much